Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new around here, my name's Danielle and I'm a mum of one. I have a little boy named Leo who is two. Now this is my first video of 2020, 2021. <laughs> so first and foremost, Happy New Year. I did take a few weeks off. Um, I think my last video went up on the 23rd of December. Um, to be honest, I was just feeling a bit flat and I just didn't feel like uh, filming since the whole lockdown thing again and tier four and all that kind of stuff that we had. Um, but I'm back and I'm ready to go and I wanted to start off my first video as I mean to go on with a lot more foodie content because that is definitely something I'm passionate about. I love home cooking and cooking from scratch, nice, easy, healthy family meals. Um, so my first recipe is a lovely warming uh, sweet potato and black bean, I don't know if it's a stew or a chilli, something in between, um, but it's lovely and warming and I thought I would share it with you. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need about a tablespoon of coconut oil. You could use olive oil, whatever you, oil you prefer to use, really. It's quite adaptable, this recipe. I've got three sweet potatoes. If you were out of sweet potatoes and you had something like butternut squash, that would also work really well in this recipe. I'm going to use two tins of chunky chopped tomatoes. Um, I mean, you could use one and then like a, a carton of passata or something like that if you've got that in. Um, I can use a tin of black beans um, and then got a, quite a big bowl, probably about three handfuls of baby spinach. Again, you could use cow or something like this if you have that in stock. Um, one red onion, which I will obviously peel and dice. I've got three cloves of garlic. I'll probably use around about a teaspoon of tomato puree. I've got a vegetable stock cube here. I mean, this one is vegan friendly. Um, watch out for that if you're sort of new to cooking vegan. Um, some stock cubes are not. Um, I'm going to add this into about 400 ml of boiling water. I'm then going to do about a teaspoon of ground coriander. I'm going to do a teaspoon of turmeric, about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'll probably add another half a teaspoon to my husband's one when I'm like serving. And then about a teaspoon of paprika. Um, the potatoes are obviously going to be peeled and cubed as well. So I'm just going to get started by prepping all of my veg, like my sweet potatoes and my onion and my garlic. You could always do this ahead and put it in like a um, Tupperware pot in the fridge or something like that. If Say if you have a bit of spare time in the mornings or maybe the night before, something like that just to make it a little bit easier for you. But all in all, this really didn't take very long at all. Okay, so I'm going to start off by melting down some of my coconut oil, so it's about a tablespoon I would say. I'm then going to add in my onions and my garlic and I'm just going to fry that off until it softens slightly and then I'm going to add in my spices. By doing this you're going to release some of the flavour, so give it a good stir, um, get the onions and the garlic and everything coated. And I'm going to be serving this with some rice today, I'm just using like a white rice which is a basmati, but I mean this would go really nicely with some couscous or some bog wheat or quinoa, whatever you fancy. Um, is quite adaptable. Now after making this a few times now I'd actually up the quantity of the spices. I would do two teaspoons of each apart from the cayenne pepper which I would do one teaspoon of which is double the quantities that I gave at the start of the video. I'm 
now going to go ahead and add in my sweet potato, give that a good stir and make sure that it's all covered in those lovely spices. Tequila. And now goes in around about a teaspoon of the tomato puree and again give that a good mix. Um, you're then going to add in your vegetable stock. I added this in a little bit at a time. Um, I actually only ended up using about 300 mils in the end. Um, then adding in the chopped tomatoes as well and give that a good stir. Now I'm adding in my black beans. These have been drained and thoroughly rinsed um, just with the colander there. I'm just gonna tip those straight in. Now pop the lid on and let that simmer for around about half an hour. Obviously keep checking on it if you're a little bit worried about it sticking, but that should be fine on a medium, uh, medium low heat. You're then going to add in your baby spinach and wilt that in. When eating vegan meals like this, I like to be very generous with the portion sizes. Otherwise, about 10 minutes later, we're starving again if we're not having meats or like eggs or something like that. Um, so this for us is a really good size. We all polished off our plates and our two-year-old even really enjoyed this. Well, that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you try this recipe, please let me know in the comments down below how you found it. Bye guys. Tequila.